From weird images captured by the Mars rover to some unbelievable rocket engineering mistakes. Here are 15 strange photos NASA doesn't want you to see. But first, we'd like to give a quick shout out over here to this person who left this comment. We appreciate your insight and we'll see you next time. Number 15, Crash Landing. When looking for answers about the universe, scientists and amateur astronomers tend to look at the stars. So why not do more studies on the closest one, the Sun? In 2001, the Genesis was supposed to help answer a few deep questions about the formation of the universe, but ended up in a pile of debris in the Utah desert like we see in this photo. The parachutes did not properly deploy in September of 2004, but they were able to uncover some tiny particles from the solar winds. Number 14, the Delta II explosion. The Delta II rocket was launched from Cape Canaveral and was carrying an $81 million satellite. This was known as the UGPS. This rocket soars through the sky with over 200,000 pounds of thrusting power. It was approximately 1 to 2,000 feet in the sky when suddenly an explosion happens. The explosion creates a dangerous gas of hydrochloric fumes. This is probably why NASA prefers launching pads in isolated areas away from human settlements, close to oceans, in order to avoid collateral damage. Number 13, Space Monkeys. NASA probably doesn't want a reminder about the space monkeys that they use for experiments and space launches. The first primate to ever make it into space was a rhesus monkey called Albert Number 2. We see him here in this photo being carried on board of a V-2 rocket in 1949. Many didn't even know what exactly would happen to a primate after they were launched into space and how to properly prepare for something like this. With monkeys being biologically similar to humans, this appeared to be the most proper way to find out without risking a human life. It wasn't really until 1959 when a successful monkey launch took place, getting the squirrel monkey back in one piece. Upon the return, the monkey known as Baker even received a medal. This monkey has achieved much more in its life than you ever have. Pizza Delivery Pizza Hut was willing to spend about $1 million to have Pizza Hut deliver some pizza to the International Space Station because floating around in space can sure work up an appetite. Pizza Hut was willing to spend about a $1 million to get one of their pizzas to the International Space Station because floating around in space can sure work up an appetite. A Russian agency was called in to take care of the job and provide the rockets necessary. This here shows the photo of the Pizza Hut logo printed onto the rocket for a little bit of publicity. In the process, they created the world's first space-proof pizza that was vacuum-sealed. All the space explorers gave the thumbs up, too. We imagine it took more than 20 minutes to deliver this pizza. This has now been more of a common practice, and this photo here shows Americans and Russians getting together to enjoy some pizza. At least, if they drop it, they don't have to worry about it hitting the floor. Number 11, Protective Suit. It's not that NASA doesn't want you to see it, but it's probably a little bit embarrassing in any case. This woman in the photo is named Alan Hazard, and she was an engineer for the Jet Propulsion Lab. She appears to be modeling a pretty unconventional protective suit that isn't seen in today's times. This photo was taken in 1960, and it almost seems like some kind of zombie apocalypse type suit. We suppose that dealing with rocket fuel can be a little bit unpredictable, so important precautions might need to be taken. Number 10, live from the studio. There has been many questions about whether or not the moon landing was actually filmed in a studio or not, but this photo here seems to finally prove it. Here in this photo from NASA's hidden archives with Buzz Aldrin to the left and Neil Armstrong inside a studio of some sort it appears. NASA claims the Apollo 11 astronauts are performing a simulated moonwalk, but how sure can we be? This supposedly took place three months before the actual moon landing. Number 9, Mars Crab. So we learned that Mars had oceans and had periodic flowing water, so why not a crab? An image picked up by the Mars Curiosity rover seems to indicate the resemblance of a crab. Many claim it's a rock formation and not a crab. Scientists say that our mind likes to play tricks on us and takes unfamiliar objects to make it look like something more similar that we've seen before. But how many other rocks around here look like crabs? This one here seems quite bizarre, and either way you look at it, it certainly appears to be a crab. It's not exactly known who spotted it while sifting through NASA's photos, but it almost appears like it's alive and crawling on the cliffside. Rock or alien crab, what do you believe? Number 8, Space Junk. 
It seems like all the junk that we've left up in space from our space programs is definitely still floating up there. It has no problem either crashing back down to Earth if it gets a chance to. According to NASA, this includes debris, such as abandoned launch vehicle stages, mission-related debris, and fragmentation debris. This poses a threat to other spacecraft trying to exit Earth's atmosphere and whoever's on board. For example, a French aircraft satellite was struck by a piece of debris that was left in space for over 10 years long. Another case of humans causing more debris in outer space was when China used a missile to destroy an old weather satellite, adding 3,000 more pieces of debris to the existing problem. NASA believes that there are 20,000 pieces of marble-sized junk and 500,000 pieces of material larger than the size of a marble. We should also mention that it travels at a speed of 17,000 miles per hour. The photo here was released by NASA showing areas dense with the junk. Number 7. Moon People UFOs seem to have really spooked out Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on July 20th, 1969. Finally, on the 45th anniversary of the Apollo landing, Buzz Aldrin might have claimed to have seen some hovering lights and some things he couldn't explain during his missions in space. He claimed to have seen a suspicious object and appeared to be following their spacecraft for three days. He stated that it was clearly not a rocket booster and didn't want to tell command in Houston because he was worried they would tell him to turn around. Could this mysterious figure be what was operating the spacecraft? Caught on NASA footage, a dark humanoid creature seems to come onto the camera. It was just another mysterious shadow, right? In any case, it seems to be a bizarre shape for a shadow. What do you think? Number 6. Lunar Walking Suit NASA spent a lot of time trying to prepare people for the lack of gravity that they were about to experience. One of the more interesting ways they could do this is by using what's known as a reduced gravity walking simulator. This is definitely one of the more interesting vintage photos that they have in their archives. In the suit, they can measure the physiological effects of reduced gravity while walking, running, and jumping. But how the heck does this guy manage to walk on the side of a wall? Number 5. The RLC NASA probably doesn't want you to see these satellite shots of the RLC. The lake was once the fourth largest in the world, but it disappeared quite rapidly. The water level decreased so quickly that wreckage of fishing boats like in this photo are on the dry lake bed. Unbelievable ideas from Soviet engineers were to begin diverting water in order to build cotton plantations. The RLC lost a huge amount of water due to evaporation and will never be replaced. This has negatively affected nearby countries like Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. It's basically now a dry, salty, toxic wasteland with soil that contains chemicals from weapons that were tested. We doubt anyone will be able to grow anything here for quite a while. Number 4. The White Knight Satellite UFO hunters went into a frenzy when they saw floating around in the sky during the Endeavour mission in 2011. As the massive fuel tank was heading back to Earth, a mysterious, almost metallic-looking object comes into view. Is it a floating plastic bag? Possibly some space junk? Or a piece of paper let out by one of the people in the shuttle? Some thought it was a parachute at first, but NASA doesn't really use parachutes for their external fuel tanks and just kind of let them burn up in the atmosphere. Number 3. UFO Refueling the sun is a star that is responsible for majority of the energy in our solar system, and without it, humans could not survive on planet Earth. Is it a little bit too far-fetched to believe that some spacecraft out there might find a way to harness the sun's power? Or are they trying to alter it in order to destroy us? About six to seven years ago, Russian scientists claimed to have spotted a strange UFO every day near the sun. These bizarre images, spotted by the Solar Heliospheric Observatory, shows orbs just floating around the sun. What could they possibly be? As UFOologists begin to study the photos of NASA, they're able to spot strange things like this. Their theory is that they may be able to control the sun's temperature, or they're using the sun to harvest some kind of rare, powerful element. Number 2. The Sea Rock Although we don't fully believe in the moon landing being a hoax, there has been some controversy about this rock that was spotted. Some feel as though it was a prop, and it was labeled with a C. Movie props will often get labeled in one way or another, so the stagehand will know where to put them. But why would NASA take a risk of labeling a prop rock during one of their most unbelievable missions of all time? It turns out that a hair got caught between the image and the imager while making photocopies of the rock. And number one, Mars Henge. Alien enthusiasts claim to have spotted a few bizarre images on Mars after the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter began sending images to Earth what looks like some type of Neolithic site similar to Stonehenge on this planet. This was dubbed as Marshenge by UFO enthusiasts, but astronomers are fairly certain it's just a rock formation. 
but if you take a closer look, the stones seem to have square and circular formations that are somewhat similar to the Stonehenge we see on Earth. Maybe visitors to Mars also came to Earth and built this structure? Many people claim that humans didn't possess the proper technology to construct Stonehenge over 5,000 years ago.